Hello, everyone, uh, hey, hey. and welcome to uh, another episode of the Day to Day Podcast. Uh, welcome, so welcome. Today, uh, I think we we mentioned this last week as well. Today, we're gonna start with at least the Apple yeah. event. It it yes. was it was interesting. Yeah, interesting. I mean, yeah, yeah. but yeah, not not too much to talk about. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, surprising to being an Apple event. Mainly, we have like a couple of uh, products that they release and some interesting topics to talk about around that. Then. And we have some other smaller topics that for the day that we will go through depending on time. Yeah. So uh, let's start with the Apple event. They yeah. announced a new main, main, main thing that they announced. Yeah. It's M3 chip, right? Yeah. The M3 chip. Yeah. Yeah. M3 chip and different variations of it. Uh, M3, M3 Pro and M3 Max. So the only, the only processor no, that wasn't is Ultra, right? It's the... Yeah, the- yeah, M2 Ultra. There was an Ultra chip, right? If I remember correctly, but yeah. there wasn't an Ultra chip at this launch. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they'll launch it later. Yeah. So I, that's, that's I assume good. they will put the Ultra chip on the on the what you call the the tower model. What is it? I can't remember. The Mac Pro. The Mac Pro. Yeah. Okay, and then they also released the new iMac with uh, the M3 chip, yeah. And that that was, uh, the first new iMac was with the M1. They didn't release uh, an iMac with the yeah, M2. They, yeah, they didn't have one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they jumped to the M3 directly. And I assume they're gonna release a new MacBook Air sometime next year with the M3 chip. Or do you, do, do you, know, you don't think like... Uh, I don't know, it, it depends, right? It could be because the M2 is itself pretty powerful. And yeah, they haven't really taken powerful, actually. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, what they're saying is they are, what at, at least what they're saying is that M1, uh, compared to M1, M3 is like thirty five percent more powerful mm. in I think in general, right? And twenty five percent more efficient, and you know things mm. like that. But you can never say, right? So they might take out M1 altogether and just have M2 and M3. So mm. M2 just servicing the base level stuff, and M3 is servicing the pro level stuff. So mm. you can find them you might find them too in like the iPads and the MacBook yeah. Airs and all of that. And the M3s in the Pro, uh, MacBook mm. Pros and okay. even the iPad Pro. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm just assuming that. Right? So, I, so, yeah, I, 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 I'm just trying down. to connect like what they're doing with their phones here. You know, they have their Pro phones with one advanced, like one level advanced chip. Yeah, exactly. But, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I that's not what I, where I got it from. But now that you say it, yeah. that's probably what they're doing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So they might yeah. like skip a gen, skip a year, and then they probably will keep them too. And yeah. then yeah. once they're launching the M4 uh, MacBook Pros, they'll launch the M3 MacBook Airs. I It'll think. trickle down. I yeah. don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll happen because um there were some pricing changes as well for the MacBook Pros, the 14, mm. 14 inch uh, Pros. So there was they well, it wasn't really a pricing change. Was it's more like a, they added a new like strip down version of the MacBook yeah, Pro yeah. to start off with, which has like eight eight gigs of RAM, which may not be the best thing for no. Pro users. No, no, right? no, eight gigs of RAM is not probably enough, even. Though the M3 chip is pretty powerful, mm-hmm. uh, given all of that, I don't think 8 GB is enough for workflow. It it it's definitely enough for like the day to day use, right? Yeah, yeah. In the web, you know, watching Netflix and yeah. YouTube. Or but whatever. better get an AI yeah, if if that's the case. Yeah, exactly. You don't need a pro for that, right? You just you can do that with an iPad for yeah, <laughs> all yeah. that matter, right? So let's see. It's just it's not like a pricing change, more. Yeah. Of a, and then and a lot of people were telling that that the pricing change, even though it's Cheaper than the previous Pro, which started like somewhere around two thousand, if I two thousand four hundred was it? Like it started, uh, and and then uh, yeah. this this is to re- this is a lower price model, but it's still more expensive than the previous model MacBook Pro that they had uh, with the Touch Bar, which they discontinued. Oh, with the, you mean the thirteen inch one? That is yeah, the thirteen inch uh, okay. Touch Bar uh, MacBook Pro. Right. They right. still right. sold it until this release. Uh, yes. And they dis- uh, stopped it. And this is still more expensive than that. I mean, of course, like the process is much more powerful. Yes, mm-hmm. and it's probably uh, the new new design as well. Right? But it sucks that they don't have at least sixteen GB RAM, like starting sixteen gigs. <laughs> new, they have a new color. They have a new color. Oh, but... the the space black or something? Space gray? I don't know something. Um, um, like matte black color. I, 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 yeah, I, space, I black, space black, space black, space black. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's only for the M3 Pro and Max chips. Oh, is it? Is it not yeah. the best one? No, nah, not for oh, the Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I thought it was like just like in Pro in general. Oh, no, wow. No. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's only for the Pro and Max models that you can get the, the space plug. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, nothing much 
2.5 percent faster they are trying to uh, like they have a much better gpu i think this time and oh, yes yeah we'll talk about that so they have like they've been going on about gaming a lot apple yeah. lately mm. because uh, one thing was in the even in the iphone event they had a couple of games that they had ported over i would say from yeah. uh, like the ps4 5 generation so it's mm. like uh, resident evil was one yeah, uh, resident yeah. evil 4 rem- not remake i think remaster was it mm. remake? i can't remember remake and the new resident evil village those seem to be running pretty well mm. on processors that you could get on iPhones and with that i think they are moving towards gaming a bit the, the interesting thing is since you're doing it for mobile and it's the same architecture that ha- uh, that mm. they are being used in the max it's sort of easier much much easier to bring over games from the mobile platform into their PCs mm-hmm. um, and you know get them working properly so yeah. they need to have the inbuilt ray tracing accelerators yes. or shaders and all of that stuff that require mm-hmm. you know processing that graphics uh, mm-hmm. information and just displaying it i think it's good because you know that's probably the only only thing that the currently that windows have mm-hmm. over apple yeah. right over over the mac os or mm. whatever, because i've saw a few statistics recently and mac sales have actually gone up pc sales have plateaued right that's yeah. that's normal it's it's sort of a declining market or not i wouldn't mm. say declining but it's sort of plateaued right? it's not it's not a growing market right mm. the market share has changed significantly so um, pcs like windows back in the day they were like nine probably like 70% 80% market share mm. now they they're closing to like 60% 65 mm-hmm. uh, 55% not yeah. probably not 55% but yeah it's it's going down right and apple is catching up yeah. right? so there are there up to about 30% so this is the us but globally the trend is the same but numbers are still towards windows but it's yeah. it's the trend is the same globally as well with gaming coming in and being easier for everyone to design games i'm not sure okay let me just check this one I think the PS5 uh, processor is also ARM. Is it? Uh, oh, no, it's a, it's a Zen 2 architect. Now, come on, um, until you're searching for that, I'm just thinking uh, the, the bigger reasons for a lot of people to pick Windows machines is that they can start with a smaller, like I said, like a, a cheaper device and they can upgrade it whenever they can, you know. They can upgrade like the graphics, they can upgrade the RAM, maybe the processor, they can upgrade it whenever they want. That's that's one of the main reasons that Windows devices are like with Mac, they don't have the same, how to say, freedom of upgrading. And yeah. I think that's 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 still probably going to hinder quite a bit of purchasing from at least the gamers. And they can't customize the device like they want to. So mm-hmm. If you if you think tip, a typical gamer like not the, the generic gamers like us like not not like the once in a while you know is, not the casual gamers yeah exactly yeah, casual <laughs> users like the the hardcore gamers they they want customization when it comes to their uh, devices like the the LEDs the 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 cooling the fans and all that stuff so yeah so I just checked so PS five um, unfortunately it's not it's not a a R market it's still x eighty six I should have seen that because it was easier to port games from PS4 to PC rather mm. than what you could do with the cell processor back in the day when it was PS3, uh, which I think was an odd thing. But yeah, anyway. But there are still a lot of good games coming out for mobile and mm. those could probably just be easily ported over to the Mac. And that's yeah. probably one good step, right? In yeah, the, yeah. Um, like, I mean, if you get it working on the phone, that means it's easily working on the laptop. Exactly. It's much yeah. easier, right? And yeah. when you have the proper hardware to for a yeah. game to work in iPhone and you have similar hardware mm. in your laptops, it's just much easier, right? So mm-hmm. I feel like Apple will push some of the game developers to ga- de- develop some games. And um, it will be mainstream games. I, I don't think they'll go into this, you know, high graphics, high performance games just yet. Probably they'll uh hang on to those a bit later till a bit later mm. maybe when they want to bring in some sort yeah. of upgrade scheme i don't know if they will do that but uh, or uh, they I might think... like launch a, like a gaming chip or something yeah. like that i don't know maybe i think the best strategy for them i don't know this is my opinion i think the best strategy for them to is to try to get the like mmorpg games on on mac oh, yes. yeah yes. like i don't know <laughs> like things like i don't know fortnite or you know uh, Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite is more of a battle royale, but ah, yes, battle think, royale, yeah. uh, and then also things like what is it, League of Legends? Yeah, League of Legends stuff. But yeah. aren't those already on Apple? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm they are. Sure. Maybe they're not. Uh, I thought Fortnite was on Apple already. Let me check. <laughs> because I mean, Fortnite is not necessarily a very graphic-intensive game, no, right? And exactly. 
even that it's already yeah. widely used but yeah anyway no we, while you're searching for that <laughs> mm-hmm. i i think maybe we can go move on to the other topic that uh, yeah. we wanted to talk about of the apple event was the fact yeah. that it was shot on iphone mm exactly right and um that i mean people i i feel like people think when they, when when they see the you know whatever thing that say okay shot on iphone it's not like someone holding an iphone mm. in their hands right it's not yeah. it's not how it works it's just that they replace the camera yeah uh with the iphone that's that's yeah. all that happens right so the rest of the uh, setup is the same the setup is the same right so it's like all the rigs and you know the drones and all of that stuff remains the yeah. same even some of the filters that you put in front yeah. of cameras that do you know yeah. get weird effects and stuff like like did you that. see that they released a video later uh, yes uh, yes yeah. yes behind the scenes yes yeah, i saw yeah. that one and i mean it's fine right so yeah. like, that's how stuff happens and given that your iphone can replace a camera which is probably worth uh probably starting like cinematic cameras they start at around a $10,000 or i mean mm. probably the cheapest ones are like $5,000 maybe the cheapest like good ones that they use for these right? events i'm i'm talking about cinematic camera so you can get like uh, mirror, mirrorless cameras for much less for about maybe 3500 but those are in certain ways limited right it it doesn't it may not have all the capabilities you know like uh, is what yeah i digress um it's the fact that you can replace uh, those cameras with a phone and achieve more or less relatively the same workflow mm. because um it's with usb c coming in and with the new speeds you can write all of that stuff live into a hard disk and it's in progress it can be graded it's like it's sort of like a workflow right? so and they have uh, and it's it wasn't running on the native recording app as well i think they were using some uh, there was a black magic app that was doing mm. the recording so they it okay. was it was optimized to use the hardware properly and you know okay. put out the a uh, proper codec of the video but still i mean you can do that right mm. you can't do that with a uh, normal camera so you can you can't just use whatever software to record in it yeah record yeah. with you you have to just use the camera to record it right so if you want to get a certain look or get in, get a certain set of processing you c- you can just download mm. an app of the app store and just use that right? yeah that's pretty neat. like uh, like we, we we still don't know how the how the practicality is, is as in like does the phone heat up quickly when it when you're recording like yeah. uh, you yeah. know yeah. in the raw log format exactly. or yeah exactly there could be time limits as well yeah. uh, generally to avoid heating up in the first place mm. so uh, but yeah, it's still i think it's still a good first step uh, yeah, yeah definitely because yeah. now more and more stuff is being replaced by a smartphone that a yeah. camera used to do right? okay i'll tell you a small small story from that that i personally went through like uh, i i i hope you can remember like the old sony camera that 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 we had right yeah um yeah. the alpha was it uh, alpha 55 50, oh is it 57 yeah, yeah. 57 yeah but um, so recently we uh, we we actually went on a small trip and i took the camera with me and i took some photos with it and i started comparing those photos to my phones like photos that i take from my phone and the photos on my phone seem to be much higher quality than yeah uh, well on that right this is small point there yeah. the the photo that you get are right out of the camera is not processed right oh, yeah, yeah there is like very slight processing probably the color and all of that but that's that's about it as is supposed to you have a uh, pixel. pixel right yeah you have pixel, a pixel right uh, pixel uh, the pixel is uh, processed it's more, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more processed than probably even mm-hmm. iphone uh, because they they rely a lot on the software and it's good processing i'm not i'm not mm-hmm. i'm not complaining mm-hmm. it. it's good yeah. processing uh, so to your eye it might look a bit different but from a camera you can still get a look that you want much yeah. better if you know yeah. the scale you know if you get the yeah. more file out you can just do a bit more stuff but i i i know what you mean right yeah, yeah. generic uh, generic stuff you don't need a camera right? exactly exactly <laughs> i i think like if you for an example if you want to kind of get a specific look on the on the photos it's much better to use the like the dslr and then change like i don't use lightroom or photoshop or something mm-hmm. and you can edit the colors the way you want and get get the output that you want maybe that's 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 what these cameras are more for mm-hmm. but when you think of like snap and shoot like just quick things that you want to just capture 
your day to day stuff, maybe the, the phone is much better. And then it's also about how things are integrated. Like you have uh, your own photo viewing app, it's it's connected to the cloud, it's uploaded. And so okay. the, the convenience factor is a bit, it, there's a bit more now. Like I still haven't connected the, uh, the camera to the laptop and transfer the photos over to kind <laughs> of back them up. So uh, it's a bit of a process, but I, like again, like it's for different purposes, I think. Like DSLRs are not not for everyday photo taking now i think no uh, yeah definitely not definitely not you i mean um you can it you can use it because you can use it in different ways because um i would say the only unique point would be lenses mm, yeah right? yeah uh, and different looks you can get you can't do that from i mean it's very hard to do that from uh, even even a phone right you your processing has to be really good and yeah it looks different sometimes as you you can't like so for example the depth uh control mm. right uh, in yeah. the background i don't know if you can see it mm -hmm. see yeah if i can there's a blur there's a blur demonstration of it uh uh let me let me okay so that's not gonna work yeah. anyway uh i don't know if you noticed the background got a bit sharper right yeah it got sharper yes it is yeah so if i put it the other oh oops sorry the other way. and it blurred now now it's blurred right yes, so yes. i mean stuff like that it's, it's very subtle work. yeah it's very subtle right but this is a natural bokeh or yes yes, yes 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 it's 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 i <laughs> for me i maybe i can tell whether it's natural or not i don't know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean like like on, like on the phones when you do a portrait mode it's like it's an artificial bokeh that they add like around and you yeah. can see the border very clearly exactly i mean it's it's good right i mean it's, it's, it's not still good. Bad. It's, still good. it's yeah. functional, I would say. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to get the proper look, you need to have yeah. like a camera and a lens. And, 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 and this and is just... this is not a very good lens, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> this is like not a very good lens. So it, it, there are lenses that can open up a bit wider, and the bokeh like you will mm -hmm. just not see anything at all uh, in the background. Yeah. It'll just maybe me in focus, and that lens gives a different look to the photo yeah and i'm just and i'm just and, I'm, and i and i was surprised by like this this camera like the dslr is more than 10 years old now uh and and it's it's yeah it is it is it is it's more than 10 years old i think 20, it, we 2011, it. 2012 2012 you bought it or yeah 20... 2012 or even before i can't remember exactly now that uh, that I remember no, that that was uh, before actually it was before no, SLTs right so those are like single no what are, what are I they think called? it was two thousand nine or ten oh yeah no fifty seven came out a bit later than that right I either the first set of cameras came probably in that era what you what you mentioned but let's see yeah. you know, Alpha fifty seven I'm actually interested because I like actually like that camera it was a it was a new I was 2012, 2012 yeah twenty twelve right yeah there yeah okay okay SLT so it's called an SS it's called a I can't remember what it was called. SLT, what does it stand for? Uh, not Sri Lanka Telecom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was called single... It has to be single lens I... something, right? Is it? Uh, no, I can't remember. No, I can't remember. So, uh, just, just, it's not a DSLR, Nilanka. Okay. <laughs> right? It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's digital, it's, no, it's not it's not a single lens transluent. Oh uh, yeah, translucent. Exactly, single translucent. lens transfer. So, what that means is, uh, a, a sing, uh, a mirror like a DSLR has a mirror, right? Yeah. And when you take the photo, mm -hmm. uh, it you in in the view you are viewing it from the viewfinder, you yeah. you you lose it for a second. Okay. Right. But in your camera, it's not a optical viewfinder, right? No, it's a digital, it's a digital viewfinder. viewfinder. Exactly. Yeah. So what's happening is, it, the mirror is says constant. It's mm. just it's it's just one mirror. It doesn't it doesn't move about. Uh, the okay, shutter closes. So the, that's, in that's the DSLR, it moves. It moves. The whole mirror moves out of the way, letting the light through. Uh, that light is captured by the sensor, and that that's what processes it. Right, okay. exactly. Mm. So in in your camera, what's happening is, uh, about one third of the light gets transferred to a different sensor. I'm not sure if it's sensor or it could be optical as well. I'm not sure about that. But it's a sensor that 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 feeds your viewfinder. Right? Mm -hmm. And two thirds of the light gets added on okay. to the sensor. Right? And that's how it, so, so that's it's still the how perfect image mirrorless then. started, I would say. Uh -huh. Proper mirrorless camera started. And that's from there onwards, Sony developed the new Alpha series uh, with I think the first camera was the 
55 Alpha 5000 series and they mm. moved on. They were like 2000. expensive ones. Yeah, there's a <laughs> oh, sorry, they had the NEX series before that. Sorry, I forgot that. Um, and those are purely mirrorless, right? So they were mm. just 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 the. So direct, directly to the lens. So directly, in, to, in directly from the lens. How do they the how do they get it to the viewfinder? Is it just the sensor? They take it from the sensor itself. How do they? Sorry. In like pure like mirrorless purely mirrorless cameras, how do they get it to the like? They get it off the sensor. The... They get it off the sensor. They, they get, get, off the sensor. Get, get it off sensor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's why they can do things like um, uh, face recognition. Mm. Right? Uh, whereas in DSLR cameras, you do, you couldn't do face recognition because mm. it was never processing the image. It was just mm. processing uh, depth yeah. and you know sharpness of the image and things like that, not mm. really identifying objects, right? So mm. uh, with uh, cameras being able to process the whole image, yeah. you can do like what is in the image and focus on that thing. Yeah. Sort of. I think this also does some sort of recognition. I can't remember. I think this does oh, like some point recognition. It does uh, not face. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't think it has face recognition. I'm not sure. It's it probably not recognition. face recognition, but it it has, again, it's the same. Maybe it's the same thing. It has nine focal points. On the on the yeah, so it, it, the focus is focus is still uh, running off the DSLR system. So okay. DSLR focus was again uh, there was a sep so yeah it very complicated. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be uh, turned into a, a, a <laughs> camera show now. Uh, so a bit of the light that was being uh, sent to the viewfinder mm. went to a focus sensor as well, right? Mm. And that's what helped. Uh, the uh, DSLR focus and same mm. day, whatever. And you had, you know, 40 points of focus or things like that mm. and not a lot of focus points, right? Mm. But like, because it couldn't have a lot of focus points. Yeah, yeah. But now you'll have like 700 focus points yeah. or something like that, right? So mm. she's like a massive now for focus points. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's, 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 it's a diff whole different system yeah. now. So uh, it's reading directly off of the sensor, but your camera is in the middle, I would say. Yeah, it's the, it's the transition camera. Okay, okay. Like what I was gonna say actually is that uh, like it's it's been again like it's it's more than ten years to the camera, and it it has uh, what you call uh, motion stabilizing when you record. Mm. Uh, it's it's quite close to what phones nowadays have like uh, okay. in like the most high end phones, and it's. Crazy, like how these devices had yeah, it. It had, it had uh, in sense uh, uh, sensor stabilization, right? Not not lens. It had sensor not lens. I think I don't know, but I was when I when I'm trying to take a photo, like and I'm moving, mm. it doesn't move as much internally, like and then you can notice it, okay. like uh, the yeah. So it's I don't know whether it's like optical. It, it's not probably optical image, like like similar to phones, like they have optical image stabilization, like the sensor moves a bit mm -hmm. here and there, like to stabilize the photo i don't think it's the same kind of uh, uh process okay. in these cameras but but it's still I, it was quite stable it out um, i don't see any sensor stabilization could have been just a lens but i don't know who knows yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe well yeah that was yes. that was just my experience last week and i was like surprised to kind of again it, it's both good and bad for the camera like it's 10 years now so it, it definitely yeah. wouldn't give me the best quality uh yeah and the lens is also quite old it's uh yeah yeah but Doesn't... lenses tend to be generally you can use those for about 20 good 20 25 years without yeah issue, but like it, right now the the focusing of that we it's the fixed 50 millimeter yeah it's the focusing is a bit slow yeah, yeah probably that that can be the case you might need to service the lens and mm -hmm. probably just put in some i don't know lens oil or whatever you do mm -hmm. <laughs> do yeah. that yeah, the focusing is the problem because it takes a bit more time to focus and sometimes the capture also is a bit slow. Uh, ah, right. Okay. But yeah, uh, and, and, and enough, with the, enough with the camera talk then we can... Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can, we can <laughs> create a whole other topic for that. Anyway. Maybe we can move on to Tinder? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe Tinder. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good topic. Yeah. yeah, let's do Tinder. Yeah. Have you been on Tinder any, at any, any I'm, point I'm in time? I'm assuming most people who listen to this have been on Tinder. Uh, yeah, probably, probably. At, at least to try it out. 
Have I been on Tinder? I can't remember being. I maybe I just created an account just for the fun of it when I was and like. You at least created an account on Tinder to see. Oh, probably, yeah, I probably have. Who the people one. in the neighborhood are, you know? <laughs> yeah. So. So uh, the news about Tinder. Why didn't you? Why didn't you say that, Nilanka? So Tinder apparently lets your mom or parents, I don't know, family recommend. It's matches. at family, right? It's at family. Yeah. I checked. Yeah. yeah. Your your friends and family can can recommend people to you now on Tinder apparently. So this is a is a new feature. Is it, is it recommend or is it like approve? Like so you have the swipe right, swipe mm. left thing, right? Ah, uh, probably. So you can you can refer it to someone else and they can approve. And they be like, okay, they okay, do you approve? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that should be fun. Good. Oh man, so that's a good news for South Asian. Or oh, probably Asians yeah. in general, I would yeah, yeah. say. If you have strict strict parents and then uh, they need to control who you're meeting, then if if you want to let them, then then now it's built to help yeah. that. It's built in. Yeah. And Tinder gets more data from your parents as well. <laughs> oh, I mean that's probably why they introduce it, right? I have a feeling. <laughs> Like it's it's that they are adding another demographic, you know. Like it's like another layer of people just to get data. Okay, they this is their preferences, you know. And then it's it's it's, it's such a messy algorithm. Like they have, I have no idea how it's structured, but it's quite a bit on people's input. The people who are more favored are more favored on the rankings that they show as well. So the people that the people that this like what is it swipe right or not? right is good left is bad right yeah swipe yeah yeah I, I think yeah, I can't remember now yeah. so let's say swiping right is like that you like a person mm-hmm. uh, the more a profile gets likes their profile is shown to more people the more profile gets rejected or disliked it gets shown less to people ah uh, okay yeah maybe that's not the best way to go about it it's i i think this 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 is quite c- clear like when you create a new profile mm. you you get more matches like in the first week usually uh, and then uh, it goes down like maybe that's also another commercial reason you don't get that many matches up like it's like okay maybe maybe it goes like they have like yeah. pro accounts and stuff yeah exactly maybe. exactly yeah, exactly. yeah and... they have to i, I don't know how that works i've accounts. seen those yeah mm. they have two layers of paid accounts like Pro and gold, I can't remember now, but uh, yeah, it's mainly because of that, I guess. Then, like you, lo- you get some interest in the f- first few weeks, and then you lose it, and then you have to pay to get the same level of attention. <laughs> later. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's Tinder. Uh, maybe maybe you, you can get your parents to approve your match now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good luck with that, guys. Good luck with that. And Chandra, you had like uh, something about uh, was was it uh, Goldman Sachs? So like we can we can go through that maybe. Uh, ah, yeah, I think the Sam SPF, right? Sam Bankman Fried. Ah, yes, Sam Bankman Fried. Yeah. So I think uh, his his verdict hasn't been given yet. Yeah. Uh, that's mm-hmm. probably um. So he's found guilty, but um, uh, yeah, I think that's how it works. Right? So he's found guilty, but uh. It's the sentencing isn't done yet. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure exactly. Apparently, right. like so, the lawyers are still fighting for it, right, or something, right? right. Exactly, right. So, like, how for how how uh you know how bad the sentencing is. So mm-hmm. apparently, the worst that can happen is he can get up to 115 years in prison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't. That never happens, right? So no. these guys, rates, he's loaded. He has connections. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Happen, right? He'll probably be uh. Maybe maybe do like twenty years. Yeah, like, the guy's like twenty five or something, right? So he, yeah. he'll when he comes out, he'll be like forty forty five, and he's still got a life ahead of him, and he's still probably have the millions. Yeah, <laughs> in his bank account. But um, yeah, that's that's probably what's gonna happen. So and you know the Sam, it was it just to give like a brief on the case. It was a, uh, it was the FTX uh, trading mm-hmm. platform for Bitcoin and all of that, um, uh, and. Uh, essentially, I, I'm not going to go into the details because it's going to get very complex. Yeah. Uh, essentially, they've just been committing fraud, right? So just taking people's money in and just been not really investing it properly. They've mm. just been spending it on themselves and uh, spending it on the company and just you know defrauding all of these okay. guys. Uh, and uh, how they tried to 
sort of pitch it was um, that okay, no, uh, when this came out, right? So what what happened was uh, news got out that um, um, I think this is to do with uh, one of the holdings that they had, mm. or you know, some share that were that they were holding was also in a company that was. Uh, sort of related. It was, it was Sam Bank Murphy's girlfriend's company or something like that. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, so it, it, something like that. I, I can't ex- remember the specific case. So when that news came out, uh, people started sort of withdrawing their money from FTX mm-hmm. and they couldn't pay it back. They had to de- declare bankruptcy and that's when this whole kind of firms got yeah. opened and people started looking into it. Um, and the initial defense was, okay, he didn't do it knowingly. He was just bad with his investments. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the defense. But then uh, SPF's girlfriend came out to the stand and said, just blabbed. Uh, no, not blabbed, yeah. but, you know, tell, told the truth uh, that, you know, he was involved. He It's his idea to do um, all of this stuff and not his. So I also participated. So she was, she pled guilty, right? She pled guilty. She's like, I'm guilty. He did it with me and all of that, and just <laughs> there's no sound. Yeah, and he's like, you can't really get out of that. So what they are now trying to do is he's guilty, but um, they're trying to see if uh, they can get the sentence. Yeah. Sort of reduced and yeah, by yeah. cooperating and you know whatever stuff yeah. that they come up with, right? So because in the US you get more more punishment for financial financial fraud than the other ones, right? I think they have more. I think so. But yeah. I mean, let's see. Let's see what the lawyers say. Right? Yeah. They'll, 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 they'll probably find a way out, right? There's always a way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's what they do. You... Yeah. I mean, of course, it's legal, right? Of, yeah. Illegal stuff, right? They do yeah. It's just that... yeah. <laughs> if, 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 I don't know. Like, the only... I've seen like few uh, how do you say legal TV shows and they they know how to get off. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> those tend to exaggerate, but I mean you can get the gist of how things happen. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, looking at those, yeah. yes, that's that's the uh, fiction of how real life works. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe we can quickly go through YouTube as well. I don't know. Uh. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, you can. Yeah, so the YouTube is uh, uh, trying to block ad blockers uh, on, on on the website. Uh, okay, so ad blockers has been a thing for a very long time. It's not just specific to YouTube. People have been using ad blockers to get get by sites which are pop filled with pop ups and ads that are irrelevant and and uh, you know it's very difficult to navigate through. We never use any of those yeah. sites, but yeah, no. we would know. No, we we have no idea, but. Uh, it's usually like a big hassle before for when if you're using this, you know, just sometimes even regular news sites have too many ads. Yeah, even yeah. Facebook or like Twitter might have too many too many ads. So people have been using ad blockers and using ad blockers in YouTube had become a thing as well. Especially since YouTube kind of uh has Bombarded become bigger, you with that. Huh? Bombarded you with ads. Yes, they've been very aggressive <laughs> oh with their God. <laughs> ads, uh, especially in uh, countries with some, like especially in like Western countries, I would say where there are more advertisers like who are paying for YouTube ads, uh, like uh, themselves. This I think we we mentioned this once, like in Sri Lanka where we are coming from, we don't see that many ads on YouTube yeah. because that's not where people actually invest in Sri Lanka. Exactly. But exactly. now we are in Sweden and it's. Massive. Dude, it's like nonstop. if you watch a 20 minute video every 10 minutes, every f- like five minutes, there's an ad. Yeah. Anyway. So now, yeah, people are, I mean, it, it's, it makes sense for people to use ad blockers because of this, unless you want to pay for premium. And now YouTube is also increasing the price for premium. They're maybe trying to move away from the ad kind of environment because people are finding different ways to get beyond, around ads. And they are becoming more and more aggressive with ad blocking, giving you like strikes. If they notice that you are using an ad blocker, they, after three videos, they stop showing you videos if you are using certain ad blockers. And now people are actually moving to like, they are, some people are actually uninstalling the ad blockers and maybe getting premium because they have no other option. They don't know how to, but, <laughs> but some are actually uh, finding better ad blockers or they are actually shifting uh, browsers to other browsers which have better ad blocking features like for an example chrome is a, a google company it's an alphabet like you know under the same company so they try to 
ad uh, ad blocking enabled in that like not ad, like yeah. stopping ad blockers yeah so people are moving to uh, other browsers because of that as well so let's see what happens on that yeah let's let's see let's see what happens to that as well we don't have that much time to talk to talk about it today <laughs> exactly so, yeah. <laughs> then uh, i think that's it for today and uh, we will uh, uh, catch up with you guys again uh, next time so if there's any feedback comments just put it on our uh, on, on the comments and uh, thank you for being with us today uh, have a good one. yeah see you have a, have a good one yeah take care take care bye